Hey guys, so back again with another video. Now in this video, I'll be showing you, I know a useful tool that can be used to gauge the performance of your machine, specifically between your laptop or your desktop computer. Now, just to have a basic understanding of what I'm running. So I have a very basic laptop. Um, is running an i5 8 gen with a 1.60 gigahertz. And it is also a Asus VivoBook S14X430UF. Also running with a solid state drive. And it's a 64 bit um, processor. And that's basically it. It does have an internal um, or integrated graphics and it does have uh, NVIDIA um, graphics as well to help with video processing when it comes to the GPU. Now, let me just open it up. All right, so it's going to do some testing. We just let it go through that. You see where it gives you a little orbital display of the RAM, the processor. And if I can flip it over, the SSD, because I do have a solid state drive like I mentioned before in this laptop. So I'm not sure if it is a representation of what you have or if it's just a demo representation in terms of imagery, but I do have two um two RAMs. I do have a solid state drive. Um, I do have, you know, uh, Nvidia graphics. So it's doing that GPU uh, test. It's doing another GPU test. As mentioned before, I'm not expecting any extraordinary results um, from this test because I do know my um, laptop isn't one of the highest performance. It's, it's reasonably okay for what I need it to be, what I need to be done on it. But in terms of um, it being top spec, nah. It has, um, this application has a cute little well, a neat little feature, let me not say cute, where you can basically engage in some gameplay. So it's just on my, my shooting skills. All right, I need some red, because red give it a nice points. For the record, I got higher than this last time, <laughs> but that's basically it. You see where it says down here that it has sent the results to userbenchmark.com. Now, I'm just going to open that up. Oh, wow. So this is actually worse than um what was read before. So let me just show you what I had gotten before. So this was my previous um readings, right? Where the overall PC performance was below expectations, just like this one, but it wasn't as bad. <laughs> but um, based on what you guys are running, it might be better, right? Um, yeah, there are certain things that can be done to alter the uh performance reading. So say for instance, in my case, yeah, in my case, um, I'm going the better one. I realize if I change the GPU to dedicate to the NVIDIA MX130, the performance in terms of GPU um, benchmark would be greater um, when compared to the integrated graphics. Mm -hmm. 
uh, when it comes to the the i five processor, you know, there's not much I can be done about that except for you can you can um decrease from processes that run in the background because what I find is that let me just open this based on the CPU usage, it can affect the benchmark reading. So you would want to basically, you know, end any um, systems or any application um, um, process that is running in the background that can take up a lot of the memory. So 37%, um, 45.2 megabytes of memory. You know, something is using up a lot of the memory and that can affect and the processing and that can affect how well the benchmark actually runs. Right now, benchmark is taking up the most of the processing, but there are other things that like the zoom, like what I'm recording with right now. So what I'm recording with can be taken up the processing and some other applications like um Google Chrome, which takes up a lot of the memory, if you realize, might not be taking up a lot of processors, um, but it's taking up a lot of memory. Also with, um, let me not go there, there are also some little audio uh, processes that are taking up a lot of memory, which is what is um, I'm taking in my voice right now. So there's a lot of things that can come into play in terms of your benchmark. So you you will never have the most perfect um, environment, but you can end some of these to actually get a more desirable environment. And I'm sure if I could close some of these and run it again, there will be a difference in terms of the result. So another perk about this, it gives you recommendations as to what you can do to actually improve, improve the performance. So this is telling me that I can ensure that the dual channel XML bias profile is enabled. However, for my, um, for my um device, this isn't available when it relates to um the configurations. So it wouldn't apply to me, but it might apply to you based on the device that you're using. I'm not too sure as to why the SSD performed the way it did. Um, it, I oh yes, so I think that there's something that was incomplete. So. There might be a case where I need to run this as administrator to give it more um access to the SSD. That's what I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. Cause it says uh, rel uh, relative performance not applicable, sequence bench incomplete. So I'm thinking that this might be a case. Could be wrong. Uh that's basically it. So it's a useful tool, give get you an idea of, you know, how well your PC is performing. And to be honest with you, I would Aside from knowing um, firsthand based on the specs that my um, laptop isn't top tier, I would not be able to tell you um, that just by using it because it has not let me down. Because I do a lot of heavy stuff in terms of I do graphics. I also do coding, you know, when it relates to um, Visual Studio using C Sharp. Um, and sometimes Java, so yeah. And speaking of coding, if you guys want me to, you know, do some videos on coding, feel free to let me know in the comments. All right, this is the end of the video. Please like, subscribe, and keep following me as I make more content. Thank you.